I never want it to catch fire. Fire stands for financially independent, retire early. My mom is in her mid 70s. She still works two jobs on the side. We work. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Nanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book Cashing Out. All right. This book is written by Kirsten and Julian Saunders. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is money management, personal finance. So I follow them on Twitter. They are at Rich and Regular Love. I listen to their podcast. It wasn't for me. I followed it because I like them. I read the book. And now I'm a believer, okay? So I know that seems kind of weird. Like, how can you follow someone online? But like, their interaction is so great. Their chemistry is so great. I love to hear stories about their son. But like, you read the book and the tagline is, win the wealth game by walking away. What the heck does that mean? Well, cashing out, catching fire, all of that. Fire stands for financially independent, retire early. I never wanted to retire early. My mom is in her mid 70s. She still works two jobs on the side. We work, we love to work, we have great work ethic. Or she can't afford to retire? I had never considered. I was like, why would I wanna to retire to then just go get a part-time job? That's silly. Well, everyone doesn't live like that, right? And so the whole point of reading the book is to find out how other people are living. I never considered what it would mean to be financially independent. Why? Who would have told me to? <laughs> Who would have told me to? Kirsten and Julian are telling me to, okay? So one of my favorite things about the book, it's both of the quotes are from the same chapter. And so the quote says, you want certainty where certainty doesn't exist. What you really need is courage. What? Yes, right? And then the other one is, wealth building is a series of small acts of courage. Small acts of courage means just a couple things here and there. Okay, I set aside $100. Yes, but no. More like you open an investment account. You learn how to manage it yourself. And if you can't do that, you pay someone to manage it. Like what you nurture, what you water grows. So if you don't know how to manage stocks, you're not remotely interested. You can't just say, I'm not gonna do it because no one showed me. Kyla, I can't just say being financially independent is not for me because I've never seen it. I had never had a child before. Yes, you can watch somebody else raise a kid. It's not the same when it's your own. And I went out and I learned that. I read books about it. I did coaching. I met with my doctors. Girl, do the same thing. Start with this book, <laughs> okay? So the book was absolutely phenomenal. Um, it definitely helped me to start thinking, what does it mean to be wealthy? Would I be rich and regular? Am I financially insecure, right? I'm definitely not one of the fast spenders, somebody that gets money in their hand and just blows it. I can do that, <laughs> don't get it twisted. But I'm not the one that's like, oh, I can just make it back again real quickly. I'm more of the spend it because I haven't been spending in a while and so now I'm gonna splurge, like going through the manic extremes, okay? But I didn't even realize that there were three main types of people, right? And so. The book was highly, highly entertaining and very educational, okay? About a lot of stuff that I had not considered because who would I have had those conversations with, right? And so I'm so grateful that Kirsten and Julian are having the conversations with regular folks, regular people like me, all right? So if you're enjoying this review, I talk all about books every single week and consider subscribing so that you can get more content from me every week. So by far, one of the biggest things I learned from the book, as I've been mentioning, is just that although I haven't seen something, doesn't mean that it cannot occur. I can learn how to dream. I can learn what it means to be wealthy. I can learn what it means to be rich first. I can know what it feels like to have $15,000 in my checking account and I'm not waiting for anything. I'm not waiting for a house down payment. I'm not waiting to buy a car. It's just there, right? I can learn to appreciate that. I can learn to study it. And there's an example where they talk about being at a fire retreat and meeting these other people and they're like, we don't even do that, right? Like you'll always be growing, you'll always be challenging yourself to do something different if you can decide that you don't know everything. Your mindset, your perspective is ever growing, ever changing. And you can reach out to people or resources that will help you, okay? So I wanna say that I feel lucky because I've been following them because I like them as people 
and more so engaging with them because I like who they are and then the book actually taught me and for that I would definitely reread it and in fact I'm telling a lot of other people about the book because it's really good and I've read a number of financial books this year but they're all different they all impact you in different ways so consider picking this one up all right so I gotta say, if you liked hearing about being financially independent and possibly retiring early, you need to go in and create your dream life, all right? Watch this video here where I talk about why we should all be millionaires. See you in the next one.